Welcome back to another episode of Let's Play with Gravitrax. I am again joined by Katie Humphreys, and we are just going to start working our way through the manual. Hopefully we'll get up to a yellow, maybe even a red today, but uh, we're, we're just going to start here with track A. So uh, again, we'll put an image of this up on the screen so you can follow along at home. Um, oh, they've got steps for these. Okay, so Katie, why don't you walk us through what do we need first? All right, so it looks like we need 11 of our little rising tiles. Oh. This is upside down, that doesn't help. Six here. I've got five here. Wow. Wow, indeed, that. wow, indeed. <laughs> All right, so it looks like I can just take my five stack, one, two, three, four, five. And I'll split mine into a three stack and a three stack. Oh, that works out well. And, um, all right. This is not a Cartesian grid. This is a hexagonal grid. How can we find where this needs to go? Or does it even matter? Hmm. We could come down the line. Okay, start in the one. center. Okay, so I need to go down. Oh, this is actually flipped compared oh. to how this is. See how this one's like right mm -hmm. adjacent to there? Uh, I think we're okay. I think as long as we pick a spot to start. Okay. I think we can just navigate it relative. So yours needs to go yeah. there. Very good. Okay, they do. They, okay, they snap pretty well in there. All right, so that's so down that's that way. actually two down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you look at the the foreshortening there, that's cool. Okay. Mm -hmm. Step two. What do we need? We need three different size tracks. Three different size tracks. All right, I, I think there's only three sizes, so I think okay. I just get one of each. Uh, I think if I count the lines on there, one, two, three, I got one, two, three, and then I need a one and a zero. All right. Looks like we'll need a curve tile, the push start tile. I think I need four curve oh, tiles. Oh, yeah, there's definitely four there. I've got uh, another, oh, you've got plenty on the other side. Perfect, <laughs> perfect. And then we need the flat catcher. Mm -hmm. I, I've already forgotten the technical names. I'm sorry, <laughs> Travis Rex. I'm just going to call it the flat catcher there. Okay, cool. So, uh, and oh, and this piece, yes. uh, the starter piece. Again, I'm, I'm going to butcher the names. I think I orient it this way because it needs to go that way. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to put, oh, I guess we should put the white pieces down first and then connect to the track. Otherwise, the track is going to be hanging there. So do you want to put your curvy pieces down? I will get a marble. Mm -hmm. I think this one's going to use the smaller curve. Okay, that's good to know. Okay, so in terms of the hexes, this goes to adjacent edges. This goes to the next nearest edge. Then your next option is to go straight, mm -hmm. which obviously you would just use a track or, or, or a crisscross or maybe this one. And then the uh, the other option would be just turn this around and then you start working your way around. Okay. Cool. Very interesting. Uh, and then it looks like, like these are actually... I think those go flat on the mm -hmm. thing. So you're just rolling with your own kinetic energy there. One, two, three. Mm. Uh, well, it needs to fit with this. Maybe we can use this to measure where it needs to go. Perfect. So right there. Okay, so if you're designing these from scratch, you can use these to kind of figure out where these go. Okay, so this one goes one, two, three hexes. This one goes two hexes. This one goes oh. one hex. Okay, okay. It's, it's nice to know they're not just arbitrary links. <laughs> uh, and both, I, okay, so that's supposed to go flat. Both of these are threes. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's interesting. And then it looks like the catcher goes there. Uh. Yeah, that one does not that in there, it just rests there. Okay. I think the yin is supposed to release its kinetic energy. Okay, would you like to do the honors? I'll put in a drum roll sound effect or something here. <laughs> We're the smartest wow. people alive! That's great. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, my turn, my turn. <laughs> Oh, geez, that's satisfying. The science. I know. Thanks. It's like, Come on. <laughs> well, and this is the thing, right? Is in education, we have to have scaffolding where it's like, let's try something simple just to get you oriented and just, you know, feel good yeah. about ourselves there. I think it's a lot of fun when it starts building up. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> do, you want, do you want to do a variation on this before we move on? Yes. Okay. What should that be? Let's see. 
these are three high, correct? Yes. Alright. Get our dragon bridge here. Oh wait, that needs oh. to curve. Uh, wow. Can this connect onto a curvy? No, it cannot. Ooh, okay. I've already, all right, I've already messed up the design. Um, okay, so maybe not that one yet. Troubleshooting. Troubleshooting. <laughs> uh, there, like that. It goes to there. All right, there's gonna be something we can put in place of. Oh yeah, why don't we try out a, a switch? Uh, test the tile. Let's let's test the tile here, yeah, because this it's the exact same thing as this. The Tesla tile, sorry, not test the tile. <laughs> Missed a stacker there. All right, so kind of like that. All right, let's. There we go. All right, uh, marble down here. Marble go up here. All right, let's try this one out. No, my test for this, I want to see if this actually yeah. switches it. And true yes. enough it does. So if you had another marble coming down, it would then go down this way and it's gonna oh alternate which way they go. Okay. The like level of complexity you can get to on this is really exciting. I know, I know. Because <laughs> I mean this is just a few pieces and we were able to do all this kind of stuff. Do you stuff. remember that board game Mousetrap? Yes. Oh well I was I was thinking of Mousetrap and I was <laughs> thinking of Domino Rally. I didn't play that one. Domino Rally is a lot of fun. Um, so there's like two kinds of dominoes in it. There's freestanding dominoes that you're just like, you're setting up like usual. But then they have these staircases that are specifically spaced for the dominoes. But then they have some tracks where the dominoes are on hinges. And so you can kind of cheat and just, you turn it to flip them up, set it down very carefully, and then they all go down in a nice line there. And then they, they had stuff like the zip line or a, or a plane would launch and all this amazing kind of stuff. Nice. 